Hello and welcome back. The biobeds utilized by Starfleet are a crucial piece of medical equipment in the sick bays of Star Trek. But how do they function? Star Trek Strange New Worlds Season 2, Episode 8, Under the Cloak of War, had a crucial scene involving a malfunctioning biobed, but they've been around from the beginning of the series. The biobeds are essentially futuristic medical beds that are used on Starfleet ships and starbases for a variety of tasks. Although medicine in the 23rd to 25th centuries is extremely sophisticated, there are constantly new illnesses to deal with in the ultimate frontier. In order to ensure the health and welfare of their crew, the biobeds are useful for each of Star Trek's doctors. The biobeds have numerous applications across the Star Trek franchise. Despite the fact that they merely resemble regular hospital beds in real life with fancy sci-fi scanners and beeping lights. Over the course of more than 50 years, Star Trek's biobeds have helped innovative new procedures, stop Borg assimilation, and even saved the life of Captain Jonathan Archer's beloved Beagle, Porthos. In Star Trek, biobeds are employed for a number of medicinal uses. They are primarily employed for diagnostic purposes by the chief medical officer of each ship, typically following a disastrous away mission or in cases where a crew member is afflicted with an unidentified illness. The majority of biobeds are equipped with scanners and sensors to facilitate these exams. However, many medical professionals choose to employ tricorders instead to provide a precise diagnosis. Alternatively, when evaluating patients on the biobeds from Star Trek, the original series, Dr. Leonard Bones McCoy frequently preferred to rely on his own eyes. With vital sign scanners, a wraparound bank of sensors, and attachments for medical gear, Star Trek's biobeds also serve as operating tables for surgical procedures. Invasive surgeries like the contentious genetronic treatment that LT. Worf had to repair his paralysis in the Star Trek. The Next Generation episode ethics required larger surgical biobeds. Other biobeds in sickbay were used for patients receiving critical care or for those recovering from such operation. In a manner akin to Dr. Mbenga's life-saving transporter trick, it was also possible to modify the biobed into a stasis chamber for essential patients while a cure was discovered. In Episode 2 of Star Trek, Strange New Worlds, Dr. Joseph Mbenga claims that Biobed 2 has shut down again and has been malfunctioning ever since a conflict with the Gorn. The biobed cannot accomplish its goal of saving the lives of sick patients without working scanners and accessories. This occurs precisely as Klingon Ambassador Dacra beams aboard the US Enterprise, which is not a coincidence. The gloomy climax of the Klingon War episode of Strange New Worlds reveals that the biobed is actually a metaphor for Mbenga himself. Despite being a master in hand-to-hand -hand combat and having a long list of murders to his name, Dr. Mbenga chooses to save lives rather than take them. However, his trauma makes it very challenging for him to perform his duties when he encounters the Butcher of Jagal. Similar to the malfunctioning biobed, he too shuts down and kills Dacra, releasing him from his demons and restoring his ability to function. It's implied that once he gets biobed 2 working again he will eventually have to embrace his evil side once more, demonstrating that Star Trek's biobeds can't fully expose everything about how the human mind functions. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.